Hello and welcome to Getting APIs to Work. In today's episode, we'll look at KPIs for APIs. And joining me for today's content is Eric Horesny, who is VP at the X-Way Catalyst Group. Hey, Eric, how are you doing? I'm doing very well. Sunny day. What about you? Yeah, no, same here. Actually, it's too sunny, so to speak. It's super hot outside, so it's almost <laughs> nice to be able to, to be inside and, and just record a video. So uh, KPIs for APIs, key performance indicators. So we see a lot of people who are using APIs in some shape or form. They're getting APIs programs underway. They're building API platforms. So there's a lot of investment going on. And the question then is how you can justify and measure that investment. So the interesting work that I think you, you really have to contribute right now is that you are not just talking about the fact that KPIs are important, but you've looked at KPIs that real world organizations are using for measuring success with their APIs. So tell us a little bit more about the context of your study and, and why you got started in the first place. I mean, you had to manage a company that worked with APIs as well. So I think there's a lot of really interesting background behind that. Um. Yeah, indeed, when you uh, manage a company or any team, any organization, you need to uh, make sure that the team is aware of what's the uh, uh, common goal for the, the team to achieve uh, so that the company can actually uh, communicate with its shareholder, with the market, as well as internally as a team, be able to uh, measure uh, whether we're um, uh, working towards success or not. So the, it is critical for uh, managing any group to uh, define uh, metrics uh, to success. Yeah, and I think what's really interesting about the work you've been doing is that you looked at a lot of companies, how they use KPIs, and you were able to distill some patterns and I think as, as one first important observation or interesting observation is you were able to figure out that there are certain groups of KPIs that companies tend to use. So what are, the, what are these groups that you were finding in the data? So um, when uh, looking at what uh, XY customers are using to track and measure their success, uh, we could find three categories. Uh, First one related to revenue and growth um, and consumption of their services. Uh, a second category related to uh, cost, uh, cost savings, efficiency. Um, and the third category about risk mitigation and uh, uh, resilience of the organization. In, uh, so for, to give, uh, let's, let's give examples. Uh, it's, it's always easy to understand, uh, easier. Um, the, those examples that are uh, salient are like Permata Bank, uh, um, and Southeast Asia Bank. Uh, they were able on the gross and revenue side to create a KPI that would be how many uh, customer account can we create through our API program. And they actually achieved an immense success by uh, multiplying by four the number of uh, new customers they could acquire uh, thanks to their API program. Uh, an example on the second category, which is uh, cost saving um, and efficiency, uh, is a company, MS Source Bergen, which is a health distribution uh, leader uh, based out of the US. They were able to measure uh, the impact of their API program on the productivity of their uh, field personnel, which is amazing. So they could say, well, now thanks to our program, uh, we know that our uh, field personnel working with pharmaceuticals can actually be 40% more efficient. Um, and uh, imagine the, the numbers that brings to the company uh, in terms of cost savings and efficiency. And a third one I like, and I think it's very important to illustrate the risk side uh, in a COVID time where uh, not only corporations are accelerating uh, their journey to, to uh, digital platforms, but also criminals. Uh, you have a lot of uh, cyber uh, criminals uh, uh, jumping on this opportunity right now. And um, what, what we see is a uh, company uh, have to fend off those attacks. And a great example is uh, Sarah 6 uh, a media leader in the US. They were able to uh, put, us, put themselves an objective of 
uh, the speed for them to release security patches and they actually uh, achieved for uh, getting 10 times faster than before on releasing security patches, meaning uh, being able to, uh, uh, to actually address those uh, attacks. So that's uh, uh, the kind of KPI that really matter. Yeah, these are really interesting examples and, and they show that, that you can measure things that really have an impact on the success of your organization. So those were just a few of the real world examples you'll be presenting. We'll, we'll link to the full presentation of your analysis and the data that you found in the description of this video. And I think there's a lot of fascinating stuff in there and it's all based on real world usage. One thing I'd like to ask, because it's, it's one of my favorite laws, there's a couple of laws around, and, and whenever it comes to measuring things, what I really like is Goodhart's law. So Goodhart's law says, whenever you turn a measurement into a metric, it ceases to be a good metric. So that kind of refers to the fact that as soon as you start measuring something and then you use that as a way to measure success, people or organizations might start gaming that. So I'm just wondering, have you seen that? Like, what's your take on this specific kind of law when it comes to KPIs and, and APIs that, that, you're, that you found and that you've seen in examples? Um, uh, yes, definitely we see that. Uh, for example, we see companies uh, tracking the number of APIs they're releasing by the hundreds uh, without having linked this um, to uh, an impact uh, they do have by the number of APIs they've released on the, the success of their uh, platform. Uh, so we, it exists. Uh, another example is uh, uh, the number of uh, billions of API calls, uh, which you know, is always a, volume is always a measure of uh, uh, consumption and success. Uh, but uh, in some organization, it becomes uh, an indicator that, that is not necessarily driving uh, business uh, and and people uh, stay uh, uh, tracked or uh, tracked with uh, just the, the volume thing. So volume is good, but uh, it's it's a good way to uh, uh, to measure uh, consumption success. Uh, but also, what matters is how you uh, link this uh, consumption with the, with your corporate success and how your stakeholders actually understand that. Uh, the consumption is going to actually drive uh, your platform and the platform is uh, key and critical for the long-term success of your company. I think these are really nice closing words actually because they, they clearly point out that yes, KPIs for APIs are important, but it's equally important that you use the right KPIs for APIs and again, the, the full presentation that you have, the full analysis of the data that, that you can find in the description of this video, that, that will show many more examples where organizations or what kind of KPIs organizations are using. And I think it really is important that the more you start investing and, and depending on um, APIs and an API program and an API platform, the more it becomes important that you measure the right things and in the right way. So. Thanks a lot for joining, Eric. It was really interesting to have this brief chat with you. Um, I hope you enjoyed it as yeah, well. Thank you, Eric. And, um, I think, you know, we'll probably meet up very soon for another one of these little um, interviews. I really like it. But until then, thanks everybody for listening and have a nice day. Bye. Bye.